Dear viewers, in this video, we will understand about one of the graphical representations in Minitab, which is probability plot. So if I click on graph, we have an option which says probability plot. So probability plot is used to test whether your data follow a particular distribution and estimate percentiles. So this is the purpose of using probability plot. So generally, what is the uh, understanding of the term probability? The term probability is chances of a particular event coming as your outcome. So your preferred event coming as your outcome. So here I have a column of data where I have response time of an engine to move from zero to 100 kilometers. So there is an automobile company and the company is measuring the time it takes for their car to move from zero kilometers to 100 kilometers and that is measured in seconds. So that's the response time. And another set of data that I have is the life of an electronic component in a home appliances device like a television. So inside the television, there is an electronic component. And what is the life of that electronic component? If it is being used, how many hours that electronic component works. So that's the second data that I have. So now what we are going to do is we are going to see whether my data follows normal distribution. There is a first thing that I'm going to check. So I click on graph, I click on probability plot. So in probability plot, I'm going to select this first option, which is a single set of data. And I'm going to select response time as my parameter. And if I click on distribution here, I have a lot of distributions for which I can check the probability. However, I have decided to check whether this data is normal. So I selected this data as normal. Now my engine design is in such a way that it should take about 30 seconds for the vehicle to move from zero to 100 kilometers. So if I wanted to check whether this particular data follows the expected average type, then I can enter 30 in my mean. Again, my engine des design is to have a standard deviation of one second, so I can enter one second here, provided if I know these two informations as the expected values. Still, I don't know about the current set of data, but the original design was in such a way that the average should be for 30 and standard deviation should be for one second. So I enter these values. And once I enter this value, and then if I click OK, You will understand that the data is normal because the p-value is greater than 0 0.05. The data is normal. However, there is a lot of deviations that you see right from the expected line. And that deviation is because there could be a difference in the mean and standard deviation. So that is why when we do a probability test or to especially check the distribution, it is better to keep these values blank because the first thing that we want to understand is whether the data follows normal distribution. Later on, we can check what is the average and what is the standard deviation. So now if I remove these values and again, if I click on OK, you'll be surprised to see the increase in the p-value. Why? Because now we are not uh, checking whether the average and standard deviation follows a particular expected value. Instead, we kept those two columns blank and then the result that we got is p-value is, that is a probability value is greater than 0 0.05. In fact, it is 0 0.666. And AD value, Anderson Darling value is also 0 0.266. So with these values, we can conclude that yes, this data is normally distributed. Why we need to understand about the distribution and confirm whether this data is normally distributed? Because many of our statistical analysis that we will do have an underlying assumption that the data comes from a normal distribution. If the data is not normally distributed, many of the statistical applications like your one sample t-test, two sample t-test, ANOVA, these kind of tests cannot be performed in a data which is not normally distributed. So taking normality then becomes very, very important. It's a prerequisite for us to do some of the statistical analysis. Now let me minimize this data for a minute and let's focus on the second set of data. The second set of data that we have is the hover. That is the life of an electronic component in a home appliances product like a TV. So the life is measured in terms of hours. So now if I click on graph, if I click on probability plot, and again, I select this first option and I click OK. This time I select hover. The distribution is going to remain normal. I'm going to keep my mean and standard deviation columns blank. And if I click OK, I get a answer from Minitab in terms of the probability value. 
generally the p value is nothing but p ask a question to minitab and question is answering us in terms of probability value so the p value this time is less than 0.005 that means definitely less than 0.05 and what does that mean that means this data is not normally distributed okay that's fine now we need to understand okay if it is not normally distributed what could be the actual distribution so in minita there is an option to check this data against 16 different distributions which is a standard option that minita provides but here what we can also do is i press control e which is a shortcut key to take you to the previous screen so i can go to distributions and then choose okay this is not normally distributed but do i have any idea about what could be the distribution so in this scenario, I have an understanding that because this is life of a product, definitely it's not going to be normally distributed because we will have a minimum life expectancy and our R&D team will work towards how that minimum life expectancy of that electronic device uh, you know, can be achieved. But on the other side, if the device works for a longer period, if I want to take a very simple example, today if I buy an LED bulb to my house, the shopkeeper gives me a reliability of one year. So if it fails within 365 days, you can get it replaced free of cost. So the R&D team will focus on how we will ensure that the product is not going to fail within 365 days. However, on the other side, if the product works for 700 days, 800 days, 900 days, nothing wrong. And there will be no effort on reducing the life or reducing the amount of variation on the other side. So this is a one-sided data. So the expectation is this data might follow variable distance. So I select variable distribution and then I say, okay. And then again, I say, okay. Now you will see the same probability plot is being calculated for variable distribution. And what we understand is the p-value is greater than 0 0.05. So what does that mean? That means this data do not follow normal distribution. However, this data follows variable distribution. So that's what we understood from this probability plot. So again, I press control E. We'll be able to check whether the data follows any of these distributions using this probability plot. So this is the first part of the probability part video. In the second part of the probability plot video, we will understand how you can compare two sets of data, how you can use the percentile and data point reference scales in this plot to get more inference about a given set of data. I hope this video was useful. See you in another video on Minitab tutorials. There is a part two video for probability plot. So I will give the link of part two video in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.